In this video, I'm gonna show you the most comprehensive onboarding Go High Level snapshot out there and how to integrate your very own Go High Level software with multiple third-party software to achieve a very smooth one-click onboarding process. And if you're gonna stick until the end of the video, I'm gonna prove to you exactly what I just said on why it is the most comprehensive onboarding snapshot out there. Now, just a quick disclaimer here, the onboarding process that I'm about to show you is more for SMMA or marketing agency owner out there. Now, for those of you who just offering pure Pure SaaS, the onboarding process is just going to be a lot smoother just because there's a lot less groundwork for your SaaS client. We actually made a separate video about that. Make sure that you check the link in the description. So let's go ahead and move to the computer screen. Now we're going to start off with the mind map because the mind map is going to give us an overall picture on what the snapshot actually look like. Now this may look a bit scary, but I'm going to take some time here to explain each of the workflow step by step and show you exactly what it looked like on high level. So we want to start off with the first stage of the snapshot. So first of all, you have the client, they pay you and you move them to a stage of the pipeline and it send out email notification and Slack notification and then it send them the onboarding funnel. And from that funnel, a lot of things can happen after that. So let's just go ahead and show you guys what that look like on high level. So we're gonna start off with the pipeline here in opportunity stage. So let's pretend that you are closer and you move this lead into successful, meaning that you close them or they paid you. Um, the first thing that this lead, this opportunity or this contact will see is an email from you. I'm gonna show you what that look like in workflow. So navigate to automation, workflow, onboarding and we name this properly one two and three so the first stage that they see and you can see here it's triggered by pipeline state change the first thing that they see here congratulations for making an account with us please check your junk and in the email we'll finally give them our onboarding funnel link so let's navigate back to site and funnel you can see here we have our onboarding portal funnel here so if you click on this funnel it have a lot of steps so this is what it looked like, okay? So on step one, the first thing that they do is that they have to fill up this form, which is our account creation form, right? We have set this up in the workflow and all that stuff. So within the funnel, the first page that they see is the account creation page with the account creation form, right? So they have to fill in their basic information like name, phone number, and email, and just select what account they want and just click create button and then a sub account will automatically create on your agency account and they should get an email with their login and password. And real quick here, back to workflow, you can see the second automation, which is the second workflow that trigger after this is it's triggered by when the form in the account creation funnel get filled, it send a web hook and it send a Slack channel and it add them to another workflow, right? And that workflow is the workflow number three here. And the workflow number three is really just a bunch of email and SMS sequence saying that week one, do this, week two, do this, week three, do this. So what you're gonna get within our snapshot is that you're gonna get entirely of our content, our onboarding content. So week one, what we instruct our client to do. And obviously you just have to modify it a bit to make sure that it's become your content and your business instruction. So as you can see here, the email go on and on and there's actually a lot of email sequence. So if you look at the bottom here, we have our ISA offer, which is our upsell that we do for our agency. You can definitely make a lot more money from this offer alone and from this email, trust me. Now, just quickly here, if you're new to high level and you're thinking to yourself, oh my God, that's a lot of workflow. How am I going to set all this up by myself? Don't worry about that. If you come back to the computer screen here, you can see all of our snapshot normally come with a complete setup guide that looks something like this. We normally put it in a Google Docs with with a viewable video, for example, this one is a viewable video on Loom and a complete checklist that you can check off along the way. And it's not just a snapshot checklist, but a complete success checklist and a complete Go High Level checklist that you can do with the main SMTP and everything. So if you're new to High Level, don't worry about that. We have you sort, we have you cover. Make sure that no crack is being left in the process. All right, guys, now let's just come back to the funnel here. Once they fill in the account creation form, they're gonna go into the next page, which is is the onboarding form. Now the onboarding form is a little bit different from the account creation form. We require more information into their business structure, what they wanna target, their ideal avatar, their pain point, and a lot more detail to make sure that we get the right information so we can launch the best campaign for our client. Now you can see here we ask area of service, 
we ask extended area, we ask average house price, we ask commission structure for appointment seller. Obviously, that's different for every businesses. And the best part that I see no one has yet done is guy is ask them why they come on to your business in the first place. And by doing this, you're gonna construct an ideal client for your agency business that's gonna help with your marketing and your sales process. So let me just show you here the type of question that we ask. So we ask, what's your target number of sales per month? How many sales are you currently making right now? What's your current commission? And most importantly, what's helped you getting over the fan when it comes to joining our program? So this is like the four or five most important questions that gonna construct the ideal avatar for your business. So just imagine here guys that all this data will get zapped to a Google Sheet that you can analyze later and these people are gonna get onboarded and work with you and your team for the next three to six months and you can evaluate who is the good client and who is the bad client. And after that, you can go to the Google Sheet and you can pick this guy is bad, this guy is good, and then you can put together a trend of the attribute of good client and bad client and you can actually feed that data back to your marketing and your sales department. Imagine how valuable is that to your business. Obviously, you can see here, this is a process that we use inside our agency. You can add a lot more questions or you can take away some of the questions that you find not relevant for your agency. Now, after filling in the form, they proceed to the next page, which is the Facebook ad access. Now, obviously, I'm not going to go into detail on what this looks like. Every agency do this differently. But just to show you guys what that looks like, inside funnel, again, here, we have seven different steps on what that looks like. We have Facebook ad access, Slack, and then expectation and then Twilio and all that stuff. Obviously, every agency would do this differently, but you're gonna take away our funnel and customize it to your own liking. Now let's go ahead and navigate back to automation workflow. Inside the onboarding folder, I wanna show you the other campaign that we have in place. So we have the offboarding campaign. Now this offboarding campaign is more likely for um, upsell and cross-sell. So if you have other different products, you can obviously nurture them through SMS and email. So now that I have finished showing you everything inside workflow and funnel within the snapshot, within Go High Level, I wanna show you the magic happen outside Go High Level. And this is what gonna make this snapshot the most comprehensive onboarding snapshot out there. So basically just come back to the mind map here. You can see here after Slack channel being created, a ClickUp task is being created and then it goes through a checklist and a sub task being created and it passed down to our fulfillment team with a fulfillment SOP. Right, I'm gonna show you exactly what that looked like in a second. And on this workflow side, they will get a login to a client portal and um, onboarding sequence and such and such. Um, we're gonna show you what that looked like also. So we're gonna start off with site, navigate to membership products, and straight away you have two products that include in this snapshot already. One is the agent university, um, a training that we made for our client, for our agent, to actually help them close more deal. And the CRM walkthrough is where we actually teach them the basic know-how of Go High Level. Depending on when you're watching this video, we're gonna merge these two training to just one training. So the next thing that I want to show you guys is the ClickUp task that's being created here. We dominantly use ClickUp for everything in terms of client management, project management. Obviously, other people are using Asana, Trello, and other platform. You can always use this concept and this framework to actually duplicate that into your software. But in this video, we're going to show you ClickUp in particular. So you can see here, this is our ClickUp client dashboard management. We make everything very detailed to make it very easy for our account manager just to step in here and know everything about our client and take control of our business. So you can see here, for example, John Smith, you can change what stage he will be in. We normally have five different stages, urgent, pending, automate, stalling, and close. And we have a due date, when his contract gonna due, we have how many date left until his contract due. We have cash balance, apparently he paid in full, so there's zero cash balance. Using ISA, no phone number, and this link that goes straight to his Go High Level account. And then we have any comment from the account manager, relationship status, start date, launch date, the contract term, payment plan, all of the relevant information to give your account manager the relevant knowledge to manage this client and retain this client as long as possible for your agency. And obviously on top of that, we just have basic information such as address, phone number, email, and type of service and cash collected.
And when you click onto this task guy, and you can see here guy within this task, we have the information that gets zapped from the onboarding form that we showed a minute ago that goes straight in here into this task. So the Facebook team, the media buying person can go ahead and take a look at this information and set up relevant ad campaign based on all of this information. If you're new to high level and this is a lot of tech work for you, we have a complete setup guide on Google Docs on how to construct everything into one piece. And you can see here guys, this lead Vico Kang is being added to this dashboard by a zap that we have set up. And the account manager have to go in and fill in all of this information manually so that she or he get to know everything about this particular client from scratch. Now quickly here, let's talk about Zapier. You're gonna get a copy of this Zap on the setup SOP. It's basically just a webhook going to Slack, going to Google Sheet. All right, guys, now let's talk about the fulfillment part on how to actually get your client result and actually keep them longer for your business. So as part of this snapshot, you're gonna get access to our complete fulfillment checklist. You can see here it's a basic Google Docs, but very, very detailed because each step have a unique checklist and it has a video walkthrough on how to set everything up from Zapier, Go High Level, Facebook form, everything that you need to get your client result is in here. And you can see here on the left hand side is actually start from the onboarding process, the onboarding presentation, how to accept their Facebook page request, DHL setup, database reactivation, video checklist, Facebook ad, client success, ISA checklist, everything A to Z is for yours and it is including in this snapshot. Now let's move on to our Facebook ad creative library. We host everything within our ClickUp and this is a shareable link as you can see here, we actually share that inside our snapshot. In this library, we have document every winning ad creative that we have launched for our client and our very own agency. Let me just show you what that look like. For example, this is a real estate seller campaign. You can see here seller campaign. There's a two Canva link that you can click here. We can click on the second link. And you can see here, this is the Canva link that you can copy and paste and edit straight away for your agency. Now let's go ahead and scroll up to the agency ad. Now this is the ad that we launch and run for our agency. Let's have a look right here. So if anyone who have not known me yet, my name is Vico Kang from Vicolize Online Consultant. I run a small six figure marketing agency that serves real estate agents in Australia and New Zealand to get more listing and be more profitable in their business. At the same time, you know, we also an official Go High Level partner. We have actually onboarded 200 plus agency owner onto the software at this time of recording. So if you haven't got an account yet, make sure that you actually click the link on the description to make sure that you are actually using our affiliate link to get an account to get that bonus extension when it comes to the free trial. So you're gonna get a 30 day free trial when you're actually using our affiliate link. High level itself is originally offer a 14 day free trial, but because we are an official partner with them, you are actually getting the benefit of the 30 day extension when it comes to the free trial, as well as qualify for our bonus gift and our snapshot. If you want to know more detail about the bonus gift and the help and the support, the snapshot that we actually offer for new user as you know, AKA new affiliate that join high level through us, make sure that you also check the link in the description as well. Without further ado, let's get onto the video. And there you go, guys. You can see every ad creative that we have used for our agency right here. Now let's just come back to the dashboard. On top of the creative, we actually show you the headline right here and the targeting, the budget, ad placement, and the lead form question that we use to qualify the lead in this particular campaign. And this detail is being mapped out for buyer, seller, agency, and so much more. So in conclusion, this is going to be extremely helpful if you are a solo entrepreneur and you have to set up everything from scratch by yourself, or if you want to outsource this to your VA or your media buying team, you can literally just give this library to your media buyer. Now that's not all guys. Let's say that you launch your ad campaign for the client. How do you going to keep track? How are you going to keep your media buyer team accountable in terms of getting your client result for long term? Now, if you launch Facebook ad before, you know that when you launch a campaign, it's very easy to get lead for the first seven to 14 days and then ad fatigue will kick in. And part of getting your client result, meaning 
meaning that you can get them consistently and getting a very low cost per lead over a long period of time. So this is why we designed this dashboard to keep your media buyer team accountable and keep your account manager on top of the information and the data that comes through in real life. Now obviously Go Hilo dashboard have its own set of reporting we just like this dashboard because it's customized to our liking. So the first thing that I want to show you in this dashboard is that we have a summary page that's going to show every client that you have and an overall picture on the result that they all getting in one place. So our agency we normally keep track of the ad spend of our ad account and our Stripe account just to see the discrepancy out there. So you want to make sure that your Stripe account is always more than your business manager spend. And this is just a small page that we make for the ad spend procedure. So basically the next tab is the actual data tracking. Now we only have January to actually make February and March and April. It's very simple. It's just duplicate it and rename it to February. That's literally all you have to do. So basically the concept behind this is very easy guys. If you have a second client, you just drag and drop this box and name it client two, right? We're not going to go into detail in this video on how to set this thing up. We have a separate video for this in our setup guideline. So you have client two and client one, and pretty much we have a virtual assistant that go out there and January, the week one, day one, type in the amount of lead that coming in, recording the ad span. And what we normally record is that we record the GHL lead and the GHL reply. And what we want to track in terms of quality and result for our client is that we want to track positive reply. Like that is our key metric and our key KPI. We normally get the positive reply divided by the total number of lead and then you get the percentage. For example, this week we get a 33.3 positive reply. So that means that we generate six lead total for our client and two of that reply. So overall, this KPI and this data will give us a benchmark on the quality of lead that we bring for our client without having to talk to them. So our no star KPI is always this positive reply ratio, which is 33%, 23%, 16%. We always keep track of that for all of our account across all of our client. And if you really paying attention is that when the positive reply pass through a certain stage, all of your clients will stop complaining about the lead quality. And if you are an experienced marketing agency owner, you know that having clients complain about lead quality is one of the main factors that will cause your client to stop using your agency service. So guys, if you really want to decrease or stop your client churn rate completely, you need to have a client success key KPI that you keep track of and install completely into your agency and have the responsible team member analyze fine trend and report all of that across of the client account to you or your client success manager. Now I'm not saying that we're perfect, we're consistently working on improving our client success KPI. And also keep in mind that this KPI is different for each agency. For example, if you have an appointment setter and an ISA, your KPI is probably based on appointment reply rate and appointment show up. The fact that we have ISA inbound sales agent as part of our upsell service. So our success KPI is going to be positive reply within Go High Level itself just for now. So that's it guys. This is a long video. Thank you so much for sticking till the end. And hopefully I can prove to you why this is the most comprehensive onboarding snapshot that I claim in the beginning in the video just because we're offering so much more outside go high law and I don't think I see anyone in this space offering this snapshot especially for free for our affiliate out there just for this amount of value and the amount of stuff that is outside high level itself so if you don't have high level yet make sure that you sign up using our referral link so we can send all this bonus and all this snapshot to you completely for free again so make sure you like subscribe and actually share this video to another go high low expert thanks hey guys if you enjoy watching the video make sure that you're also checking out this content right there